guys and welcome to another Jim and Jay's videos after Palace Games thing. Needs needs a new title. Uh, I'm Jim from Five Year Plan and uh, this is our post Tottenham video, our second post Tottenham video uh, of the season actually. So first time we've uh, doubled up. Um, it, I've just come back from Sunday League Football uh, where I tried to run off my hangover. I only got 20 minutes at the end and I was absolutely knackered. I'm incredibly unfit. We did win 3-1 though, so that's good. Um, <clears throat> so it's the day after we've we've beaten Spurs at home and it's a huge result for us. Not not just in terms of the performance and the three points, but as a boost. You know, we, we, we've piled you back at Selhurst in his first game. You know, the Fanatics had that banner at the front, our season starts here and... It couldn't be more right. Our season does start here. It's, it's you know, it, it did feel like it was petering out under under Warnock, and now we've piled you in. I mean, it's the same bunch of players. I mean, it wasn't even Jednak or Balassi, and yet we still managed to pull that performance out of the bag, which I think backs up what, what we've been saying all season, which is that this is a good team. They just needed a bit of more confidence, maybe, or certainly confidence going forward. I don't think any of those players. Uh, believe that they're not good enough to be there or that Palace aren't good enough to be in the Premier League but going forward under Warnock we just looked at times like we didn't know if we could score goals we sort of get to the edge of the area and be a bit like oh uh, what what now whereas yesterday there was just a bit more belief I think and I think that's probably just come from having a manager who believes in himself a bit more than Warnock did and if you're looking for a manager who's got self-confidence you're not going to find one with more than Alan Pardew so it was good. Obviously, the crowd were amazing. I was back in the Arthur Way actually yesterday for the first time in a while, and the place was absolutely buzzing. I'd forgotten how good the Arthur could be. It was great, even though a lot of people around me were sort of day trippers, but they were all proper Palace fans who had managed to get a ticket. The the dad and the little lad next to me come from all the way from Sydney, and they were loving it. And there was loads of kids around me as well, all like really getting into the chance, which is great to see. Sort of next generation of Palace fans. Uh, so it was it was a good. It was a great day, my word. We've had we've had a weird season, haven't we? You know, last last year we just cracked on and beat those teams around us. This year we've struggled to do that, but we've had a couple of memorable wins already: Liverpool and Spurs. You now Spurs were uh, an informed team, second only to Man City in terms of form, apparently. So to beat them is is superb, uh, and I just think it's going to not just take us up the table, which it did to 15th, but it, it, it's going to give us a real chance now to kick on for the rest of the season. We've got some big games coming up, Burnley away, Leicester away. Those are games that we have to get results in. I mean, we probably have to win them, really, if we're being honest. Bear in mind the points we've dropped already this season. But if you're looking for a performance to boost the players' confidence and make them think that we can go into those games and win, then you know you couldn't have got, got better. I thought on the day... Uh, Scott Dan was absolute quality. That guy is absolute class. You often wonder if he's maybe too good for us sometimes. He was brilliant. Delaney was great. James MacArthur just continues to get better and better each week. Like, I mean, uh, you know, you, five million is a bit of a steal, really, when you think about it. He's everywhere. And what I like about MacArthur is he's not particularly brilliant at one thing. He's just good at everything. He can tackle and pass. He can nudge people off the ball. His positioning is good. He's great at heading, makes those late runs into the box. I just think he's he's the perfect all-rounder. And some other players had big games. You know, Jason Punchin did not get on with Neil Warnock, did he? Clearly. And yet, now, first game under the new manager, it's a new lease of life for him. He's brilliant. Even just simple things like keeping control of the ball, using it, making the right decisions. And that finish for the goal was excellent. So it's great to see him potentially back especially given the last season he was pretty much one of the reasons we stayed up I think he won him he won us 12 or 13 points on his own you know and, and if he can get back to just scoring those important goals again then we've got a really good chance of staying up Gailey was good as well Murray I thought had a good game you know it's tough for him coming up from uh, the championship on loan trying to prove yourself to a new manager and that role up front we said before is difficult isn't it you've just got to dig in do a lot of the dirty work but Murray does that so it's exciting you know we've we've still got Jednak and Belassi to come back in a few weeks hopefully hopefully not injured so uh, with a few signings in the transfer window 
I think we can all agree that it's just been a bit of a boost. And I'm certainly feeling way more confident now. And uh, that's mainly because we've got a guy like Pardew in charge who is confident. So that's it. That's it from me. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and comment below and all that jazz. Um, now here's Jay with his thoughts on uh, yesterday's win. And we'll see you for the next video, which is Burnley away. So see you then. Hi, Jay here from Newell's Beat with our latest video in conjunction with both Five Year Plan and Palace Fan TV. Uh, Jim would have already have, uh, have made his comments uh, that you'll listen to and I uh, hope you're sticking around to, to hear what I can add to that. Um, Tottenham Hotspur travelled to Palace off the back of a, an excellent result against Chelsea um, last uh, or before the FA Cup weekend. Um, and many in the media and probably um, in you know in heart of hearts, Palace fans were thinking that uh, this would probably be a, a loss to start the Pardew re regime at Palace. But um, the, the euphoria around Pardew being appointed at Palace was was rightly so, and obviously, you know there was a real feel good feeling around Palace uh, before the game, and and the atmosphere, uh, the atmosphere in both the game and uh, before the game was absolutely incredible. The, uh, the Palace fans, home staff fanatics, uh, had their uh, usual uh, banner put up and um, it really got the crowd going. And I think Pardew got the crowd going and I think the roar that he got from the home stadium was, when he came on the pitch was, uh, uh, was absolutely fantastic and it, it really showed a lot um, as to what the Palace fans' feelings are about Pardew coming back. And uh, there's not many fans I've spoken to that um, haven't particularly... Uh, uh, wanted the appointment, so it's um, it's a kind of altogether feeling at the moment. And going into the game, nothing to lose for me really against the Tottenham side. Um, you know they're they're inconsistent at best. Um, we have always performed pretty well against them in the Premier League since we came up. Uh, and arguably early this season we could have got something out of them at White Hot Lane, which unfortunately we didn't. But it was a great goalless draw. Uh, you know, take away a decent point at a time where we weren't particularly uh, picking up decent points, but. Uh, but yesterday was uh, um, was great. I mean, it was a brand new pitch laid. Um, nobody actually knew how that would fare. Palace didn't know the pitch, and certainly Tottenham wouldn't have known uh, the pitch and how it's going to be, how it's going to play out. But it held up okay. Um, a few divots here and there, which is only to be expected when you know a layer pitch relatively close to a, to a football game. But um, luckily there was no rain, which uh, which affected the pitch. But you know, onto the football. And Palace were first half. We we actually knocked it around a bit, and we looked. Um, quietly confident in in terms of us with a you know a bit more possession than we're normally used to and uh, you know we threatened I mean that chance from Glenn Murray I don't know I was I mean uh, uh, likewise all the people around me the fans around me were up in the air waiting for the ball to hit the back of the net and somehow Loris got something on it and uh, and it went wide but uh, it was a shame because I really fancied Murray to to score a goal yesterday but it it didn't come we had we had chances but I think Tottenham perhaps uh, had more of the first half. Um, Barry Bannon played particularly well that first half, but unfortunately he got a booking, uh, which probably encouraged the uh, substitution at half time. And, and Gadura came on. Um, second half, um, you know, that's where all the action happened, really, wasn't it? Um, Harry Kane does what he does, scores goals, and uh, whether it was offside um, or not, you know, he's, he's he's a class act, and you know, you can't deny that he's gonna. He should be called up to the England team, really. Um, Sparrowy had really not much to do. Um, you know, he couldn't really do a lot about that. It came for a crowd of players and uh, a Tottenham 1-0 up. Um, probably on a balance of play, slightly deserved. Uh, but Palace weren't playing badly, I mean, at that particular point. Um, referee, oh, I said referee again. I've said it all season. It's not just Palace. It's not a bugbear of mine as a Palace fan. It's a bugbear of mine as a, as a football fan in that, you know, referees are making appalling decisions this season. I'm not saying it's it's against one club. It's you know it's consistent. You know it's consistently poor week in week out. Whoever referee you have, and it's across the Premier League. And I just I just think something needs to be done. But you know there's a couple of contentious decisions in the game. But the first one was uh, the penalty for Palace. Ledley, you know, great run uh, across the box and inviting a challenge. And that challenge came in side and tackle. And uh, you can argue as much as you like. Um, many people have said it wasn't a penalty. More people have said it was a penalty. Ledley seemed to get a touch on the ball first and Stan Bury came in. It's difficult. If a player slides in in a box like that, you're always 
uh, you know, under the threat of giving away a penalty. And so that happened. Um, bit, of, you know, bit of conversation between uh, Murray and Gale as to who was going to take it. Gale stepped up after Delaney got involved, and ah, oh, great penalty, wasn't it? It really was. You know, assured. Um, you know, he, was, he didn't look particularly confident during the game before that. Um, you know, he had a you know a few a few chances here and there. Yeah, I wasn't, I'm not saying he was playing badly, but um, didn't look his normal confident self. But that penalty just exuded com- you know confidence, and he put it he dispatched it well past Loris, who's a, you know who's a great keeper himself, but he didn't give him a chance. Um, so one all um, game on really. Uh, Palace fans um, continued. Ball was cleared. Uh, ended up coming to Wilf, who had a go at Walker again. Um, took on a couple of players and beat them. Uh, you have to say. Uh, I guess it was a lucky ricochet, but if you look at the movement from Punchin, who to pull away from the defender to get into the space that he had to slot the ball away, I mean, I don't think I'd have wanted anybody else in that position um, than Punchin, um, and, he, and he put the ball in the bottom corner. Um, and you can't deny Palace were good value for the win, really. Um, you know, we actually have more possession than we have done in recent games, and, um, you know, it's Pardew's homecoming. I mean, it really was, the story was set up, it was... It was as if it was written before the game that we were going to get a win out of this one. And uh, you know, going forward, leave your comments underneath this video. It'd be great to hear from you. Any questions you have, any you want us to answer in future videos, please do. Um, otherwise, you can get us on Twitter in the usual areas, Facebook page, um, and as well as our website. So you can go and check them out. But uh, uh, but we'll catch you next week. Thanks for watching. Yeah.